day, g'day everyone, and welcome back to another video. After going to, what was it, two, actually three stores to find a rain jacket, on our third or fourth attempt we finally found one, and it was at the fishing store. Just this Daiwa rain jacket, dark olive. There you go, it's even got its own colour. I've purchased this rain jacket because, well, I'm obviously going to be fishing in the rain. The weather has been super, super bad lately, and I was actually going to go bass fishing today, but... The weather has turned really, really bad. It's been raining a lot, pretty damn windy, so I thought I'd give that a miss for this week. And uh, I'm just gonna go hit the local harbor. Now with this unpredictable weather, I don't know if it's gonna bucket down, sprinkle, or just stay overcast, but I'm not taking any chances. So I got myself a brand new rain jacket. Now, just before we head around to the harbor, I wanted to say a real quick thank you to everyone for 5,000 subscribers. I think it was only two two videos ago where I was saying thanks for 4K and uh, we've just surpassed five pushing 6K. So thank you all very, very much. I really do appreciate it. That's enough talking for this segment. Let's turn this car on, head around to the harbor and get into some fishing. Or not necessarily get into some fishing. We're gonna be getting into the fishing part, but I'm gonna be going over what we're doing for today's video. Well, for this segment, I was actually hoping to show my face, but there's a lot of people and the lighting's really bad. So you're on my chest for now. I've come down to the harbor today to flick around a lure that I've been having great success on and a lot of people have been asking me to use in a video. And that's the new Diver Bait Junkie Risky Critter. Now I've been flicking this around for probably one to two weeks and I've been having great success with this. Broom, Trevally, Estuary Perch, Flathead, pretty much anything eats this. So I thought, I'd come down here and give it a go around some boat hulls to try and get some brim. Brim and Trevally are the main target. So I'll get one of these rigged on and uh, we'll start having some casts. There must be like a food market or something on today because there's a bunch of people. My man's mowing the lawn, super noisy, but we can work with it. We can work with it. Now these lures come in a really nice clamshell packet. So there's gonna be no damage when you open that up, everything nice, nice and in line. I've already got this one pre-rigged right here. Little pre-rigged one. Get him tied on, take this cicada off, which I was hoping to chuck around for bass, but that ain't gonna happen. I also just watched my intro back and I said we've had bad weather all week. It's actually been really sunny and really hot. It's just yesterday it started storming and raining and yeah, now we're left with pretty muggy and miserable weather. But uh, it's not raining at the moment. I've got a rain jacket and it's not raining. All these oysters, plenty of boats to work around. This harbour isn't the largest, but we've got to make do with what we've got, right? It's only like a 15 minute drive from home. And here's our little lure that we're starting with, the Daiwa Risky Critter. Uh, I think it's a three inch plastic, but I've actually cut it down to probably a 2.5. Just cut the back a little bit. And I uh, got a 120th hidden weight jig head on there. Size one hook. Setup we've got today, Daiwa Infeet EX. What's the specs on this thing again? Uh, one to four kilo, seven foot two with a 2,500 Daiwa Revelry, eight pound braid, and I've got an eight pound fluorocarbon leader on this. Let's just work up the side of these boats and see if we can pick off a brim or two. This little risky critter perfectly imitates a little crab or little crayfish kind of thing. And all I'm doing is just getting a cast up in there. A couple little taps and lifts of that rod tip. Get those front legs moving. Hopefully catch the attention of a fish. That's the goal anyways. Also forgot to mention that I've got this in the motor oil colour. Just to match that water clarity a little bit. I actually thought it was going to be a bit dirtier than it is. Surprisingly pretty clear. We'll see how this goes for now. And uh, if I can't catch anything on this, I'll switch over to a uh, pink color. I've got like a, I think it's called skin, skin shrimp. 
So I'll try that if this doesn't work. Get a load of the size of this stingray. Look at that thing. I did hook in that. Oh, that'd be a fun fight. There's another one out there. This white boat wasn't here the other day. If I hook something half decent, it's going to be a bit nerve wracking. Try to pull it up here. There's a fish. That's a trevally. Get up. Get up. Oh, pulled hooks. I had to go pretty hard on it. It was a little brim. That was the first fish on though. Man, it's so sketchy because under here, as you've just seen those oyster pylons, like there's not much room for error. As soon as you get a hook up, you kind of have to just go really hard on them. Especially if they're in close like that brim was there. Like if they're out far, like out here, it doesn't matter necessarily as much until you get them close. But he just ducks straight underneath there. Unfortunate. It's a good sign they're about though. Very good sign they're about. I reckon if I can get a cast right next to that white boat without falling in the water, we should be in for a bit of luck. Okay, nice Josh. G'day boys, any luck? He's only just got here, eh? You fish the harbour much? I've got no clue what I'm doing, I'll be honest. I've been, I've fished here a couple of times and caught pretty much Jack Diddley squat, so I thought I'd give it a go. You too, dude. Putting on a little extra scent here. Procure bloodworm. Just to encourage that bite. I know these style of bait junkies come with scent, but I've used this lure a little bit and it would have probably worn off by now. So a little added scent never hurts. I reckon if I get a fish here, big smokage straight under those oysters. Oh, there's a brim can see a brim in the water right there. What is that? Is that a brim? That thing's huge. Can't hard to tell. Pretty good, mate. Are you Josh? Yes, I am. The fisher, man. <laughs> the fisher. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Oh. Um, man, my dad caught a couple massive flathead yesterday. 85 centimeters. It's pretty good. Far out, out of. Yeah, just on the um, live body mullet. Can't go wrong with the liveys, eh? Yeah, they're going right. You fish the harbour much? Oh, every now and then, just been like, there's nothing really else to do. Just come down here, have a flip. Have a little Hail Mary cast. Middle of nowhere. Probably pick up a flatty out there. Probably the only thing I'll pick up out there. There we go. There's a the fish. A flounder. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, okay. There we go. Well, I thought the only thing we were going to catch out there was a flathead. But uh, 
we got his cousin, the flounder. Oh, wow. Well, there we go. First fish of the day happens to be a flounder. And that little motor oil creature bait, little risky critter. Not a big guy, but very alien looking thing. That's a proper flat fella right there. See you, dude. Off like a bullet. That's a good start, though. Very good start. Probably like almost 45. Probably 45, 50 minutes in. Actually, I might give that another cast. Just in case there's another one around. I'll give it another go. There's a fish. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> wow. Look at the size of this cod. I think that's a cod, right? Oh, shivers. I don't want, to sp don't want him to spike me. Tiny little... I don't even know what that is. If you know what that is, let me know in the comments. I think it's some type of cod. Anyway, he's... Uh, Taking that little lure, greedy bugger. Do not know what species you are, but you can get back on your way. There he goes. That's an odd little bycatch. I'll tell you one thing, I'm so awkward when it comes to talking around people. Like it just looks like I'm talking to myself. Very awkward. Look at this. Nice little area. I think it's actually a bit deeper here. Definitely deeper. Try flicking this red boat. Down, stop it. There we go. Oh, good fish. Oh, he just smoked me. Absolutely smoked me. <laughs> not even a trevally. I thought it was a trevally, but he's not doing his head shakes. Is that a ready? It is a ready. A nice ready too. Good pan size. Oh, lift him up. Yes. Eww. Very nice ready. Look at that thing. Nice little ready snapper on that risky critter once again. It's actually a little bit smaller than what I thought. That thing might just be pan size, but I'll give it a measure on the measuring tape. Look at that. How's the fluorescent blue on him? So cool. All right, mate, we'll get you a measure and uh, get you back in the drink. Okay, I may have over-exaggerated when I said he was a pan size. I actually don't know what the legal limit for snapper is, but he is 20, 28 to 29 centimetres. I don't know if that's legal or not. Either way, I'm not keeping it, so. Backflip. Backflip to belly flop. That wasn't a big fish, but that's a great sign. That there could be some more getting around. Oh no. Oh, landed that on the guy's bloke. Wait, <laughs> landed that on the guy's boat, not bloke. A couple of blokes on blokes. Really like to pick up a trevally though. I love fighting trevally, but they're pretty hard to come by. There's no like proper way of targeting them. They're pretty much just bycatch. But I know they get around here. Hopefully we can come across them. Oh. 
No, he would have pulled the pants down on that for sure. Mm. That was a good hit. It was a very, very good hit. There's a hit, there's a hit. Grab it. There we go. There's a fish. Oh, Trevally. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. <laughs> These guys know where the structure is. There we go. That's the target fish we're after. Oh, he's going skits. There we go. Little, little Trevally, but. That was one of the target species, Brim and Trevally. We got the Trev ticked off. Not a big one, but didn't really give him much of a chance to fight. Kind of have to get him up pretty quick. Well, it was raining all morning and the forecast said it was supposed to keep raining and it hasn't, it's gone really humid. So forecast man was wrong. Didn't need to buy this jumper today, but I guess I've got it for another time it's raining. But it is getting very hot, so I'm taking it off. Very, very hot. Steaming, as a matter of fact. Right, so I've been flicking around with the motor oil creature bait for a while now. Um, I'm going to take that off, and I'm going to go on to the other colour that I have, which is that Skin, skin Shrimp UV. So, it's a nice pink colour. I've used this one. A little bit more than the motor oil one so uh we'll get this tied on and give that a go see if that little that little color change can bring the bite on a bit more we've caught a couple of fish but still still would really like to get onto a brimbo that, that would be the main target we dropped one earlier but right, i'm gonna get this tied on and get back into them hopefully hopefully get back into them just got one fresh out of the packet and as i was saying a little bit earlier um, I like to cut it down a little bit, so I usually use these two back legs as a little cutting point and uh, I'll cut probably just about that much off. So it's probably about a centimetre, maybe a little bit more. Use my finger as a guide without cutting it. And there we go. Really nice clean cut and that just makes that profile a little bit smaller. Also these risky critters straight out of the pack, these little front bits here will need to be pulled apart. So. Simply just pull it apart. There we go. Ready to fish. Let's get this little pink colour tied on and take off the motor oil colour. There we go. Got it on my uh, got it on my second try. Rigging it. I did just pull this plastic off, but it's still still good. So I'll put it back in its little clamshell. Put that bit that I cut off in my bag. I already worked all around here with the motor oil one, but I'll give the skin shrimp a go, and then I'll uh, start making my way back, back down that ways, and then I want to try one last spot on the other side of these boats. So, Alright, well I made my way around. I was going to go further over but I had a quick look and there's actually quite a lot of people. So I'll just flick that bank that I was casting it. I was up on this this wharf before so I'll fish here casting back over there. I'm not going to be able to get anywhere near the boats. I'll see if we can pick off anything from this side. Can't really get a good cast either because of the wind. Fully winging it here. Oh, broom right on it. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> that was as soon as it landed. 
I've got polarised sunny so I can see just underneath the edge of that jetty and he just came rushing out for it. Damn, probably pulled it down a little bit. Yep. Don't think he'll be biting again, unfortunately. It might have been one of our only chances at a brimbo for today, besides the one I dropped earlier. This is how my afternoon's going right now. What the hell, man? That's just wind knotted in three places. How does that even happen? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, you're joking. Yep, I'm ready to call it a day. <laughs> Hoping to try and get onto one more fish. But yeah, I'm not retying. Look at that thing. Big old bird's nest. <laughs> well, after a good four and a half to five hours of fishing, that last wind knot right there is enough to call me quits for the day. Um, <laughs> we put in put in a good amount of hours, caught a good amount of fish, but um, didn't get to tick off that brimbo. I was really hoping to tick off a brimbo around the boats, but just did not happen. I was planning on going bass fishing originally, but the weather was not on my side. Decided to rain last night. When it rains, it doesn't necessarily affect the bass fishing, but it does affect me being able to get to the location, having it be a dirt road and on private property. Uh, I have a two wheel drive and obviously after rain, I'm not going to be able to go out there because I'm more than likely going to get bogged. So this was plan B, which was come to the harbour, which is the local and just, just have a little muck around, try and get onto a few fish which we actually managed to do. The weather was supposed to be bad, hence the reason why I ended up getting a rain jacket in the start, but it actually held up for us. Although it's very, very humid, uh, it did not rain. So that's a positive, I guess. That's nice. My GoPro just died on me mid outro, but with all that being said, cheers everyone for making it to the end of another video. Like the video if you did enjoy. Comment down below on what you thought about today's video. Subscribe if you're new and you want to see some more fishing content from me. Stay tuned for next week's upload, and uh, I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers, guys.